Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cindy, I'm 50 years old and last weekend I competed in my very first bodybuilding competition in the bikini category. Um, it was definitely an experience. Uh, parts of it I enjoyed, parts of it I didn't. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't watched my show day video, that kind of goes through the highlights and the lowlights. Um, but in this video, I wanted to take you through my reverse diet, my plans for the off season and um, judges feedback and take you through a full day of eating on my current macros, which I'm sure will change as we go through the off season. Um, but this is the first week of my reverse. So I'll take you through a full day of eating. I've already had meal one, which is the meal I ate for a lot of my prep, my protein pancake bowl. I'll show you a picture here and I'll pop the macros up on the screen. Um, so my um, macros today are a little bit different because today is a rest day. I have different macros for my training day versus my rest day. Rest day is a little bit lower, less carbs um, than my training days. So it's interesting because my original thought when I was in the end of my prep, like in that last week before the show, was that I was going to take the whole first week after my show off of training. I wasn't going to track macros at all. I was just going to eat intuitively while well, that lasted for 24 hours. So <laughs> after the show, we had a meal out, which wasn't very good. And the next day I kind of ate what I felt like. Um, I had ribs, which I hadn't had in many months and shared a piece of cake with my husband. So that kind of thing. But then Tuesday after the show, I was just ready to jump into my reverse macros. And originally my coach had given me a set of reverse like the first week of my reverse diet before I even did the show. And that very first day that I tried to do them out, I reached out to her and I was like, this is not enough food, like I'm starving. So she added a little bit more and um, those are the macros that I've done this week. So, and um, I started back at the gym on Tuesday too. So I didn't think I was going to, I actually had planned to only do cardio that day. She told me to keep cardio in that first week to move water around and just keep digestion good. Um, so I was planning to do cardio, but I ended up training. So <laughs> I did a pull session on, no, I did a push session on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday and pull on Thursday. I did abs Thursday too. And I've kept 30 minutes of cardio every day this week. So um, that's where we are. My weight is pretty close to my show day weight, maybe half a pound up from that. Um, so not much of a change there. I will check in with my coach tomorrow, Saturday, and I will show you that check-in. Um, that'll be almost a week post-show and let you know what changes she's making for this coming week. Um, but I will probably pick up the camera again at my next meal and just walk you through my rest day macros and what I'm eating. Okay, it's about 11.30 and I'm going in with my second meal. So pretty much looks very similar to my prep um, lunch, which was the big salad. Although I did... Um, 3.4 ounces of shrimp that I made into like a shrimp salad. Um, I use the light mayo from Hellman's and then flavor gang sauce and um, the mini rice cakes. So pretty similar to my prep meals and my one diet coke um, I usually have with my lunch meal. So it is about 1.30 and I'm going in with another meal snack. Um, so I'm having a Chubani Zero with about 10 grams of the Catalina Crunch cereal in it and two chocolate rice cakes. Macros are up on the screen. So I completely forgot to film my dinner. <laughs> it was three ounces of salmon, 170 grams of cauliflower rice, and 200-ish, I forget exactly, number of grams of baby potatoes. I'll put the macros up on the screen. And the last meal of the day, which I have had every day in prep pretty much, is my Ninja Creamy, topped with fat-free whip. Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday, and yeah, we're almost a week post-show. I did my first uh, check-in this morning since the show. I'll insert some video here. Um, it was, yeah, it was not fun putting my bikini back on. <laughs> I got kind of used to being able to just roll out of bed and do my thing. And it's so cold in the morning. Um, I was not excited to do that. But yes, checked in. 
My weight's actually below my show day weight, so I have not put on any weight <laughs> this week. Um, I think the reverse macros were pretty low, so hopefully she'll up them. I also asked um, to have back my free meal on Saturdays because I love uh, date night with my husband, so hopefully I get that back. And um, she's going to be writing my training split this week, so I'm excited to see um, what we're going to be doing. I kind of did my own thing last week, so um, I did a push day, leg day, pull day. Today we'll do legs and uh, <clears throat> until I get my new split. I'm just doing kind of pretty much what I was doing before in prep, so just sticking with that. Um, managed to stay in bed this morning till almost five, which is really good for me. I mean, I woke up a bunch of times, but I just kept going back to bed. I'm still going to bed super early in the evening. Like I just, that routine has just stayed with me. I can't seem to keep my eyes open past 7.30, so um, is what it is. My strength's kind of low, similar to how it was in prep, which I expect because my body weight still hasn't gone up, so. Uh, we'll see what coach says. I might film some of the training today, and uh, I'll definitely come back on here to let you know what changes she made this week. So I figured I might as well show you my pre-workout uh, meal. So I made a big breakfast this morning because um, I have legs today, and I, I think I'm going shopping after the gym, so I have to get in what I can get in. So I did one whole egg, egg whites and parsley with Flavor Gang sauce on top, the sriracha maple, and then um, cream of rice. So I use the Flavor Gang, um, this is the cream pie flavor with blueberries and peanut butter. And then I always do my coffee with the Fairlife protein. I usually put about two ounces and an LMNT chocolate salt packet. That gives me a full gram of salt before training. So that is my typical morning coffee. And I think I've mentioned this on the vlog before. I um, I do decaf and then um, I put in one shot of espresso, but I always wait about two hours after I wake up to do that um, so that I'm not spiking my cortisol first thing in the morning.
Hello YouTube. It is many hours later. You've seen um, some footage from our training. I was super weak uh, at the gym, really felt gassed. Um, I have just come to the conclusion that eating before I train is not a good idea for me. Even though I ate like more than two hours before training, it just makes me feel heavy and sluggish. I just seem to do a lot better when I train fasted first thing in the morning. So. I think that's what I need to do. I can have something small, like a Rice Krispie treat or something just little, um, but anytime I eat like a real meal, it just weighs me down and I just feel like it saps my strength. So I know the traditional bodybuilding thing is to train after you have a few meals, but it does not seem to work for me. So kind of a shitty session, um, but it is what it is. And my coach is gonna be sending over um, my new training plan tonight. So I will have that um, going forward. So this was the last kind of do what you want session. Um, so that's that. So I wanted to let you know the changes my coach made after my check-in this morning, and then also talk to you about the judges feedback I got from the show. So um, my coach upped my macros quite a bit. I now have one set of macros for the whole week, training days and rest days, um, quite a bit higher. So. Let's see if uh, we can put a couple pounds on. And um, she lowered my cardio to 20 minutes, five days a week. So I had been doing 30 minutes this week every day. So um, that's awesome. I'll just do the 20 minutes post-training on the five days that I train. And then two days um, that I have rest, I won't do any like formal cardio. But I tend to move quite a bit because I have a walking desk and I walk my dog. So. I've been trying to keep my steps lower, like 12 to 13,000 instead of the 15, 16,000 I was doing during prep. So still working on that. And um, that's a work in progress. I just like to move. I think I just don't like sitting a lot. Um, plus I tend to have more like hip pain when I sit a lot. So yeah, I'm, I'm somebody who moves. So those were the changes. And I do have a free meal tonight. We're gonna start having free meals every Saturday again. Hooray! I think we're gonna go for Indian food is the thought tonight and then maybe a cupcake after. I actually just ordered cookies from my cookie dealer. I had one of them when I was at the Olympia last year and it was delicious and it would be nice to just have them in the house so that when we have date night, like a lot of times we go to a restaurant, like an Indian restaurant where there's no dessert and if I want something sweet when I come home, we can share one of those cookies. So um, that's that's the changes. And as far as my judges feedback, so because my coach is the bomb, pretty much the day my pictures came out on NPC News Online, she already started getting feedback. So we've gotten three judges feedback. Um, and they were all a little bit different and some a little bit cryptic. So we kind of talked through the feedback and um, and that's what, you know, we kind of were expecting. I think ultimately, they, like when sometimes when judges use the word conditioning, it can be confusing because I was conditioned for me. Um, but because I don't have a lot of muscle pushing up against the skin, I don't look as hard as someone who has more muscle. So some of the comments about conditioning we're gonna interpret as, you know, getting a little bit more muscle. So basically the comments were, you know, excellent stage presence, good looking, very polished look. Um, some said, you know, need a little more size uh, in the shoulders and upper body, and one said in the glutes. I think the consensus that we came to is that I'm just undersized in general. <laughs> I need a little more width across my back, a little more shoulder, and obviously more glutes because you can never have too much glutes in bikini. And I definitely felt towards the tail end of prep that my skin was kind of emptying out in my glutes. So I just don't have enough muscle there. Um, and getting any leaner wouldn't have looked any better, basically. So the plan is um, to definitely focus on those areas and my training split. Let's see if I can remember it off the top of my head. So it's gonna be um, push, uh, leg day, pull, then a glute focus leg day, and then a shoulder and back day. So hitting back and shoulders, well, shoulders three times a week, back twice a week, glutes twice a week. So that's the plan, five days on, two days off. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to building. 
And, you know, my thought is whether or not we go to nationals, I mean, I, the woman who had told me backstage that they do a pro card for each height category, that's not right. I looked at Masters Nationals in Pittsburgh and they give one pro card for the 50 plus division. And I think last year there were 26 competitors and they looked amazing. So it is fierce competition. So I think my thought process is let's do this year long build. Let's get some weight on because at this size, I just can't push anything heavy in the gym. So I really do need to start putting on a little bit of fat <laughs> and um, that'll help me move a little bit more weight in the gym. Um, so really get into this build and when we're a year out, you know, let's say April of next year, take a look at my physique, start prep, and then make the decision whether I'll do some local shows, whether I'll try for nationals. Um, not really wedded to any idea just yet. I do have the, the calendar countdown on my phone towards nationals. Um, I don't even know what the date will be next year, but just based on this year's date. so. About 456 days that I have to <laughs> kind of see where my physique is. But I think next summer would just be a good time for me to compete again. My last of my children is graduating from high school. So that will all be done in May of next year. I'll be moving her into college in August. So competing in June, July is kind of my thought process to not mess up, you know, her graduation or her college move in. So that's kind of, you know, what I'm thinking about competing. Very excited to just really focus on training, which is what I love the most anyway, and not have to worry about, you know, getting lean and, and doing all that stuff that prep requires. So it's gonna probably be minimal cardio and just focusing on building up my strength again and lifting heavy again. So here for it, excited for it. I hope you're here for it and uh, I'll take you through as much as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button, hit the like, and leave comments about anything you'd like me to cover in a future vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.